Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes, we are back into this. As you can see, it is 1 o'clock in the morning. And it's dark outside. And it's dark in here. I don't know why I set this up. But, yeah. Uh, so we're back. So, when we, when we were left off, we, were, we finished Monica's and Yuki's poem, reading their poems. Letting them to read ours. Now we are gonna do Siori and Nansuki, which is my favorite character in this game. <sighs> we do Siori's. Da da da. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Demonia. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm Demonia. I forgot. I forgot I was Demonia. Yeah. I love it. I have no idea. I have no idea you are such a good writer. That sounds uh, so. That sounds sarcastic. Siori, must be seriously overreacting. I am not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why, because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> okay, jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constrictive than this. I agree. <laughs> Maybe even Nanzuki's. I am so agree. Are you sure you won't- Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm not sure that's the part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of peop other people, you know? So when I- So when I read a poem, it's not just a poem. It's a demonia poem. Okay. And that makes me feel extra special. Like I can feel y your feelings in it. <laughs> See when he hugs the she against her chest. <laughs> oh my god. You're so weird, Siori. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm staying in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into that yet. But that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Demonia. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? You're trying new things like this for other people. That's something I really good people do. Thanks, Siori. I'm not sure if Siori sees the full picture of my motivation here. Then again, I can deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah! And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 what? Wait. How do you... Was Siori reading my mind? <laughs> or did she hear me speak whisperingly? This is odd. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! <laughs> now, you'll read my book too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. In the, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> okay. Siori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No! J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to yes or no question. That is true. 
I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that. It was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's about to skip breakfast. I get all kinky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. I guess it's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the poem, best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Which I do in the next. Now, lastly and lastly, Nansugi, my favorite character in this. Da, da, da. That's a question mark. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. It's a little plant. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke my any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for you, your taste. You want to get smacked? <laughs> this is why she's my favorite. <laughs> Pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, kids can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Interesting poem. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I told you that I wasn't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just to be on just to be honest? I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all so sort of sophisticated sophisticated? Is that I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> I don't, I probably almost did. Some people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your messages any less vile. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to draw about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I said, it went around at the end. But then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro! I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one in here, did you? Are you all- wait, aren't you all 18? <laughs> yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if next is feeling proud, then I don't take that away from her. Ah, oh, we're done with poems. Phew, I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. I was a little more stressed than I expected. Okay, I didn't say that. Okay, I messed, I messed that up! It says everyone there was judging me for my- Oh, I didn't read that though. But, okay. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is an allergic quote after all. I sign. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Siori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Nanzuki. They're dark, gingling, exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read the tone, I wish each of their expressions changed. Nanzuki's eyebrows throw in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smells sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing! Because I just recently returns the phone to the desk more. Damn. I guess you could say it's fancy. 
Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the sim symbolism or something? It's curious about the feeling of giving up. How could it be that cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something else. Something nice. <sighs> uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. She already liked it. And the did too. So based on that, I'm glad to give you some suggestions on my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time especially my writing style. I don't expect it to be changed anytime soon. Unless, of course, I have to come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Demonia liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Let's see if something stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member here, Yori. Eh, that's not what I... Uh, you just... He stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that that demonio appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? How did you know... How did you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you full of yourself? Excuse me. I... No. I was full myself. I went to really go out of my way to make everything I do overly cute. You? Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as the players started showing. <laughs> oh, that is a burn. That is such a burn. Oh, 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 oh. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I, I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly both girls turn toward me. I see just those of anime. Demonia! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it! Even if she could give her a self and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all compatible if no reason? The meaning you should jump out of the reader, not force them to have, force them to have to figure it out. Helen explained that to her demonia. What? Wait. There's a there's a reason we have so many deep and expressions, expressive words in our language. It's the only way to express feelings and meaning the most. Meaning. Avoiding them is not really unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Demonia? Um. Well. Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. Or whoever I agree with, they'll probably think of harling me. So of course that's going to be. You guys think I'm gonna pick Nansuki, huh? <laughs> of course I'm gonna pick Nansuki. <laughs> I'm picking Nansuki, but... Trying to make words out of my mouth. I'm sorry, I turned to Yori. Yori? 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 It's unfair for others to inject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Yori wants to tell. 
Yori, what a stuck-up jerk she being. She would never. It's your immaturity, immaturity, immaturity. I almost got it right. That's made her accept in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly what, exactly what nobody likes. Stop. Okay, Yori, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their dif differences. Look at these poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And yours poems are amazing because they paint some beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Because, well... Also, Natsuki is cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And your face moves are the same as they always were. <laughs> I can't. Big and beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, Siori. So he stands up. I'm gonna stand behind her with him. Real wheeling expression. I'll make some tea. He rushes off. So he sets out the blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Siri is the vice president. It was with Monica. She now will return. To be honest, I might come off a little good leader, but I can't organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to, to interact. As president, that's kind of. Embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. It wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess I mean Siori's amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. <laughs> I see. Take care. Take care of her, okay? What? I would hate to see her get her herself hurt. It makes two of us. You can count on me. I am sorry, sweet lady. Causing me stomach to not. Such a neat person really doesn't make a good president. Regardless of what she says, if only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. How about you? Well, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Um, maybe you'll learn something for your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better! Da -da -da. I think myself. I do a little more, more about the kind of poems everything likes. With any luck, that means I can do at least a better job impressing the ones I want to impress. I to myself a new friend at Domination. Demonia! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> he beams at me. It's truly been a while since Siori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying this either. Siori? Oh, what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You no, know, between Yori and Matsuki. That, does that kind of stuff like happen often? No, no, no. That, that's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them. Do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make new friends with you. Phew, you know, Demonia, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's. <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun. <sighs> Looks like Siori is still having like Conan. Onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but will it really get stopped there? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Yuri. I pass you on the shoulder. I said more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Yuri and then all my tents on this. Okay! Yeah, let's do this. Alrighty then! Oh! I don't know. Wait, hold on. Hold on, let me see. 
Okay, there we go. Let's make sure you guys can see me. Okay, so we are writing a poem. So. Um. Uh, sparkle! Uh, cute! Uh. Puppy! Uh. Ooh, this is. Okay. Childhood! Uh. Hope! Uh Candy Uh Fear Uh Sweet Uh Peace Uh Fluffy Um Crimson Nature. Question. <laughs> I knew that was good, but out. Oh. Charm. Peaceful. Embrace. I'm, I'm getting more of. Ciaris. I'm getting Ciaris stuff. Poof. Uh. Oh, broken. Okay. Wow. I had a little bit of Natsuki's, but have I am I had way more of Ciaris ones, and I didn't have much for Yuki. The day passes. It's time already. I got a little more comfortable after the past couple days, and doing the cover on yours gets me. I do one yeah. Yo, Siori! Looks like you're in a good mood today. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm just still nice to being in this club. That. I see. That's a very civil thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always a simple thing with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Can you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh. That, that's not like you at all! I have many. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your. Siori. <laughs> Why that all of a sudden? No reason really. I just want to look at it. Uh certain nurses we choose their coin first. She fumbles the latch, gets it open. Then she turns out upside down and lets it see it's spilled on the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Siori. That's not fair! I didn't even know. It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you wouldn't have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry or just want an ex excuse to take a walk. Or you plan to conventionally forgot that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves one option. Mwah! I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Haha. <laughs> and suddenly giggles. Uh, didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face was in a book, as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yori. Tell the boy to let, let me borrow some money. That's... Don't give me a ball like that, Yori. Besides, you should only buy what you can respectfully afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough. Retribution. What? Ah! Did I just. I didn't mean like that. I got too absorbed into my book. He... <laughs> I really like when you speak in your mouth, Yori. Doesn't happen much, but it's fun outside of you. That's. There's no way you could've think that. You're right though. This is something bad and now I have to accept the revolution. Perhaps uh, <laughs> retribution. But still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sorry knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But what? 
You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. If I had to trick Natsuki into making them... Come on, give me more credit than that, Siori. <laughs> but, oh! Yeah! I don't know where something smacks Siori in the face and throws into the desk. Ow! What was... It? A, a cookie! <laughs> Did I hear thunder? I heard thunder. Oh, I think we have a storm coming over here. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in me. Okay, but this is around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my institution? Reputation. Actually, that's that one's almost worked. Uh, I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing a reaction, though. Haha. <laughs> Natsuki! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy. <laughs> the hugs the cupcake. Jeez, just eat it. Shall I chase up one wrapper and take a big bite? So good. Move! So you slightly close your hands over the mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> you went through a lot over just one cookie. Because so he takes a bite of your own cookie. Ah! It looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Fires can be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> so he gets out of her seat and goes behind her and then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand. So he's just out and his arm around her. No? <laughs> Seriously, suddenly leans down and takes a bite of the next cookie. Hey, hey! Did you see just do that? Yo. I hear rain. I think the battle's gonna go out. Mouthful of surgery and some of safety. Okay, if I get to the poem part, I'm gonna stop because I feel like. I have a feeling the power might go out while I'm recording. And that is bad. You <laughs> my life as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell us your... Eh? So he glances around. Monica's in the room, but... Go then. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have you even heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... Haha, <laughs> I wouldn't seem to be surprised. She probably has more than than all of us combined. Eh, <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. You guys weren't worried about anything. Eh? When I could choose when I could choose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong willed, but boyfriend? What the hell are you talking about? When it quizzes and he glances at me. Uh, never mind that. Who holds you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I, I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you play music as well, Monica. I uh, don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should please play some for us, Monica. That's... Oh, he looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... Oh, I'll eat down the moon here. Oh, sweetly. Ah. I didn't mean my any pressure or anything like that. Like that? Uh, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. I really love the chance to share one once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I chose to leave out some reason to speak. I'm sure nothing will end up, well, end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like, looks like Evelyn has already settled down. So, someone already finished her entire cookie. 
He goes back to a book, and like he's disappeared into the closet. Demodia, Demodia! Suddenly, some kind of I'm gonna go get some supplies from that classroom. Want to come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know, how the fuss is coming up. Me and Monica are gonna make some potions and stuff. I need to go find some carrion, the markers, and glue sticks. I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Thank you, Monica. Be back soon. Oh, ah, are you going with the money to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I mean, you have to go with them. Oh, I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring into classrooms and stuff. He, okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you can find posted paper too, okay? Okay! Ready the money? Yep, let's go. Oh, we're gonna get the poems. I wanna end this now! Okay. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna save here. Wait a minute. I, I should. No, I saved. See? There it is. Thank you. Okay, so. That will be Doki Doki Literature Club for now. <laughs> oh, this, this game keeps on getting funnier, at least. <laughs> hey, at least it stopped raining for once. Thank God it passed by. I was gonna be, I was getting worried my power went, went, went out. So, so, yeah, there you go. That's the real Literature Club for now. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like if you like the video, comment, subscribe, run your one. I'll see you all to the next video. Bye bye. Bye guys.